Welcome to the Paper Dinosaur Project. My name is Jordy, and this is more Plants vs. Zombies, this time featuring my wonderful face. What am I doing? I have no idea. Looks like the zombies gave up attacking your front yard. Now they're trying your backyard. And on top of it, to top it all off, you can't even use your mushrooms. That's right, because it's daytime, because they fall asleep during the day. Glad we're on the same page, Dave. Isn't that just dandy? Well, you gotta sleep sometime. All right, hope you brought your bathing suits because we're going for a swim. Just a, just a, a quick little dip here. Now that the, the weather's turning up, it's like 70 degrees today, which is great because like yesterday it was like 30. So, some differences between uh, daytime front yard levels and daytime backyard levels. There's the pool here, right down the middle. That presents some interesting challenges because you can't plant directly on the water because you need dirt for a plant or you need like some stable source. So we have these uh, these lily pads here that you can put on the pool and they just float on the water and hold up whatever you need them to. It's great. Love them. Also, there's six rows instead of five because the pool is two rows long. I should probably start attacking that zombie. <laughs> but because the pool is two rows long. So it adds the extra row there, so that's also an added challenge. That means, you know, more sunflowers, more lanes zombies can attack from. But it's not too bad a time. We'll be okay, I think. Bam. Something I just noticed in this playthrough that I never noticed in high school is that all of the different levels have their own different soundtracks. Now I was talking in the, the, the first video about how much I love the soundtrack uh, to this game. And that's even cooler, I think, that each one has their own different one. Um, Cause it's, just, I don't know, it's just, there's a lot of effort that went into that. And it's cool to see that they like thought to, you know, give a different, like a slightly different mood to each different level. I think that's really cool, but I'm also a complete and total dork. So when the zombies uh, come through the pool, they always have these little um, duck floaties that look absolutely terrified. Also, during like the final wave of each pool level, um, zombies will just rise up out of the water, which is concerning. See, there they go, just in my pool. That's my private property, friend. I didn't invite you. You are trespassing. Also, what if I went for a swim today? And just you just like start grabbing at my legs. That's that's concerning. That freaks me out. That they're just in the pool. Also, do they not need to breathe? Cause they've been under there for a long time. We've been here for a while. Do they not need to breathe? Was is that like not an issue for them? I mean, I guess they are already dead, so maybe they don't. Ah, oh, we got the squash. I love that the, the description for the squash plant is just squashes zombies. Well named. Oh gosh, I gotta put on all my. Di I gotta catch that goddamn sun. Future must. That's. Mm, mm, eventually, I will learn how to spell, and it will be a great day. But the day is not today. How do you spell mustache? M o u s t a c h e. Yes, got it. We nailed it. Got there eventually. It's fine. Okay, I need to go at this zombie. Hello. I don't like the way I said that. <laughs> it's still so weird trying to play this game with a trackpad instead of with like a mouse. I definitely prefer the mouse. It's just, it's easier to control, um, but I don't have a desktop computer here at all. Everything I do is done with my laptop, my phone, and one USB mic that I have. I, I, I don't want to say low budget because it's more like no budget. Um, but I guess technically I did spend like five dollars on this game and like 20 bucks on the USB mic So I guess that does count as low budget. Ooh, I got a present Mini games unlocked oh, Hell yeah Ooh, I am not prepared for this zombie in the water Hands on the water I find 
Sometimes it's impossible to make you change your mind. Okay, so I feel like I'm not being challenged with this enough. You know, I've played this game a lot. I have tried and true strategies that I know work. I am not being challenged to complete this game or to win these levels. So I'm gonna go ahead and challenge myself. I'm not gonna use the regular pea shooters at all. I rely on them very heavily and I'm not going to this time. We're gonna do all sorts of different things instead and we're gonna see how that works. Honestly, I'm a little nervous because like I, I do rely very heavily on the pea shooters. That is like a co the core of my strategy in this game. Uh, and I've never not used them before. Okay, so uh, we've reached our first roadblock in that this zombie is coming and I don't have enough sun to buy these other things. See, now it's it's difficult to like be putting in sun because like I'm like, I need to like be saving up sun so I can buy these other things, but like I don't have like, it's gonna, I'm gonna get more sun more quickly if I have more sunflowers, but then I need to spend sun to get those. God. Ha! Ah, this gives me stress. Another great thing about them is that they don't care what sort of protection you're wearing on your head. They're gonna eat you anyway. They don't care who you are. They're just gonna go for it. I wanna start putting other things in because when this wave hits, they're not gonna be coming out one at a time anymore. And as long as they're coming out one at a time, these, these chompy boys are gonna do the good job, but like, they take a while to chew. They don't want to choke. They don't want to swallow too early. So they take, a, they take a hot minute there. When more than one zombie's coming down the row right in the same place, they can't take both of them. His it's mouth ain't that big. I know it looks real big, but it's not that big. Okay, we've got all our sunflowers in place. We're starting to gain some momentum here. I need to put something in the goddamn pool. I have somehow managed to completely ignore the pool up until this particular moment. We're doing pretty okay, I think. We're at the first wave, and we've got some pretty solid rows in here. And it's more colorful, which is fun. Someone who wears black and gray almost exclusively, I do like bright colors. I just don't like wearing them on my personal body. I'm not gonna put a squash down for that one because the chompy boy is ready for him. Okay, so this strategy, this way of this challenge I presented myself with of not using the normal pea shooters, it took a little bit more to get traction because they were uh, more expensive to get or whatever, you know, this or that. Hey, get out of there. But like once you got everything set up, then it was, it took them out quicker because it wasn't just the normal pea shooter, it was either shooting two at once, or it was the frozen ones. So I like it. I'm glad I uh, presented myself with that as a challenge. Hey, wanna buy an extra seed slot? Uh, yes please, that was a fun. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Yes. All right. Okay, so the new plant we locked is Tangle Kelp, uh, which you can put into the pool and the first zombie that runs into it, it will uh, tangle around them and pull them down, which is pretty cool, but it also brings up more questions about what do the zombies do when they're underwater? Can they breathe underwater? Do they just stay there? Where do they go? I've got questions. I don't like the place I'm at right now as we're starting to approach this first flag. We still got a little ways to go, but I don't like where I'm at right now. There we go. That's a cool thing about the squash too, is they will jump backwards if they need to. See, I don't like where I'm at right now. I'm not ready for a huge wave of zombies. Because huge wave means more than one per row, probably. And I don't have the resources to deal with that right now. Get out of here. No, 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 no. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. As much as this is giving me stress, because I feel, like I said, I feel like I'm backed into a corner here, or at least like I don't have as much like room to maneuver around. I'm not as comfortable as I'd like to be. I am glad I did this because this is more challenging. Um, and it's, I think it's more fun. I, you know, I got used to like the monotony of putting down a row of sunflowers and then putting down a couple rows of pea shooters and then that being that, and you know, it works, but like this, it's so much more, 
exciting to like have something that you don't know if it's gonna work or not you don't know how it's gonna turn out and everything you know especially if, like coming from someone who's played this game for so long uh, and who's put in so many hours and knows a lot about how it works and has all these I've got all these strategies of like the easy way to do it I guess at the end of the day but I don't want to always be taking the easy way out. I want to do something that's going to be interesting. I want to do something that's going to be exciting to play and to watch. God, we're at the second flag already. But also, we're only at the second flag? I keep losing the sun because I can't get to it fast enough. God! Oh, God, I need a mouse. Now, I put the three shooters in uh, my lineup up here. I don't know if I talked about what those are. Um, but they shoot three peas at once into three different rows. So like if I put it here, it'll shoot peas at all three of these rows, which is really cool. Hey, hey, wait, where'd you go? Hold on, get back there. I wanna get at least one more up here of the three shooters, because then it'll cover all the rows. This game puts my OCD on full display. Everything needs to be in neat rows. Everything needs to be symmetrical and organized. It's very important to me. It's a key. Why did I get a key? I don't remember getting a key. Crazy Dave's car key. Oh, oh, that's where the shop is. That's right. Hey, you found my car key! You know what that means! Crazy Dave's Twiddly Dinky, uh, Twitty Dinky <laughs> is open for business. I don't like that his store is called Crazy Dave's Twitty Dinkies. Funny thing about the zombie process, sometimes it makes them come out real little. Real little and real mean. The smaller the package, the more anger it can hold. DEFEND YOUR SHINS! <laughs> oh... no... Don't like that. They're moving faster. Stop moving so quickly! Like, if they were just small, it would be one thing, but small and fast is too much power. Take it away. I mean, hopefully, though, it means that they they don't take as much to get rid of. I, or, you know, I just, I'd rather they just didn't, in general. How about that? Have you taken that into consideration? Oh, that one's real quick. God. So athletic. You are too fast, sir. You're moving too quick there, friend. You're, this pa there's a speed limit here. You gotta, you gotta obey the speed limit. You gotta slow down. Please. Hey, slow down. Hey, slow down. Hey! God! I can't listen! I don't like this! It's not- oh god, I- Oh, I don't like this at all! Oh god, oh stop, stop, stop moving! You're so small! And so fast, I don't like it! You're giving me stress! This is giving me more stress than it should be, to be completely honest! Not a fan. Oh god, I'm not ready for that. I need more cherry bombs. It's the only way to control them. Okay, we're gonna, gonna be smart about this. Be patient. That's good enough. Okay. Hey. Hey. Uh. Oh. Did I? No. Now I did it. We did it. Alright, I'm gonna cut this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. I really love this game. I, I'm gonna keep trying to challenge myself a little more because I feel like I do sort of sink into those old habits, those tried and true methods and strategies, and I want to try some new things. I want to have another adventure instead of just sitting here going through the motions of it. So I'm gonna keep trying to challenge myself in different ways like that. We're gonna see what I can come across there, and uh, that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have fun with it. Yeah, anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. I know I said that already, but I'm gonna say it again. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you like the video, be sure to show that like button some love, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! <laughs>